Today on Privacy X, we're going to be breaking down exactly how you can install the same operating system as Edward Snowden. We're going to break down how you can make your device work for you. The problem with a lot of these devices, we spend tons of money on MacBook Pros and iMacs and iPhone 12 Pros and all these devices, just endless stream of devices. And we end up working for them in the form of our data, in the form of tracking, time, marketing, etc. It just seems to never end. So how can you break this down? Well, Edward Snowden is probably one of the most extreme examples. And we're going to take a page out of his book. Let's buckle up and get into it. So before we jump too far in, I want to preference that we're going off information that Snowden himself has talked about. Obviously, we don't have a direct link to him and we don't know what he's doing today. But there's some things you could do right now to start increasing your privacy, your security, and make your devices work for you. The first thing we want to do is install VirtualBox. VirtualBox is an amazing software that you can use to run a virtual machine it's from Oracle. It's free and you can download it right now. We'll go ahead and download this real quick on the test machine here. What you could do is you can download all kinds of different operating systems. So if you want to use something like Ubuntu, if you want to use Hunix, if you want to use Tails, if you want to use Kali Linux, there's so many different things you can do with VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and download it. It is a very simple download. You can download in a couple of seconds. You want to make sure you're verifying you're on the official site. Everything's going to download. It's going to take a couple of minutes to download. And then we are going to have our simple virtual box. Now, if you're going to do a virtual machine, what you're going to want to do first is open this up. And you're going to, when we decide to install whatever we're going to install, you're going to want to give it some resources. So the first thing I'll tell you is you want a very powerful computer. I do this on my uh, my, my 2020 MacBook Pro here and it's got a lot of power and also my iMac Pro has a tremendous amount of power but if you have an older laptop or an older desktop a PC this works on Windows Linux and Mac you want to make sure that you have the resources so make sure you read through everything and make sure you have the resources on whatever machine you're using once we have VirtualBox we could take something like a thumb drive and download Tails Tails is a very popular OS and it is a live OS so you will literally use a thumb drive the sad reality of my life is to use this thumb drive I have to use this dongle I guess I could get a USB type C one but you'll have dongle city you'll use a thumb drive typically you want them to be at least eight gigs and then you can download everything on here set it up in virtual box plug it in do whatever you're gonna do run everything through Tor etc unplug it and it wipes and starts over so it's like a live OS a lot of people use this for extreme privacy. It is a good option, but for the average person, even Snowden has talked about a few options he uses because every time you unplug this, it starts everything over. And for the average person, we're going to a very extreme level. So unless you're an international spy on the run, which is quite literally Edward Snowden, but unless you're in that you know situation, unless you're... Uh, Michael Weston from Burn Notice, maybe maybe Tails isn't something you need to use on a day-to-day -day basis. So what can you use on a day-to-day -day basis but still have a lot of privacy, security, and anonymity? Well, Hunix is a great option. It's an option that I've been using for a long time on a daily basis. And we're going to go ahead and download it here. Again, a simple install, but it is a large install. It'll take a little while. It takes longer than VirtualBox to install. And once we've installed this, this is going to allow us to import it directly into VirtualBox. Now, the cool thing about this is once we import it into VirtualBox, what this allows us to do is we're going to have a gateway and then we are going to have a workstation. So you're going to have a breakdown of your gateway. So what the, the system that most people use, like myself, is you'll log on to your computer, you'll have your VPN. So whatever VPN, I've talked about VPNs that I recommend. I've done a whole video here on Privacy X, so check it out if you haven't seen that because not all VPNs are created equal. But your favorite VPN, whatever that is, you'll have that on. You go ahead and open up your virtual box. Then you'll go ahead and open up your gateway. Once the gateway is running and you've got that booted and running, then you'll open your workstation and your workstation will route everything through Tor. So you've got compartmentalized anonymity on four different fronts from your VPN to your work to your uh, gateway 
to your workstation through Tor. So you're really pushing the boundaries of being anonymous on the internet. Now, I do want to preference, and I've said this, even though privacy and anonymity and security and OPSEC is something I've spent a lot of time on, a lot of money, a lot of research, and it's something I've been working on for over 10 years since I was the victim of a pretty serious identity theft back 10 years ago. And the, the reason I've dug so deep into this is because it is shocking how much data is just ripped away from you on a daily basis. But you need to understand that there is no 100% secure system. Now, as a side note, I did want to talk about cubes. Now, recently, Edward Snowden has also talked about cubes. I have played around with it and I've been using it, but not to the point where I'm going to make a video on it yet. That will be coming in the future. I only make videos on Privacy X or talk about things on Privacy X that I personally implement and use in my day to day life. That way I can give you an honest, fair review and feedback. Also, everything I show you is typically open source or free, so I'm not being paid by anybody to tell you what the best option is. And you've got a community of privacy advocates and people in the tech industry that are actively trying to make these resources better. Also with open source, of course, that's great because you can inspect the code, you can make sure everything looks good, unlike the big tech giants, which is mostly closed source. So you're kind of taking their word for it. Now, of course, when money is their biggest motive, most likely that the security is there. Most big tech have incredible security for themselves, but they don't care about your privacy. In fact, they sell your privacy. So this is a great option. Cubes is another great option. And I've seen Edward Snowden talk about Tails and I've seen him talk about cubes. And so I wanted to mention it here in this video because if it's something that you want to upload on your system, cubes is cool because it compartmentalizes everything. And I talk a lot about compartmentalizing. In fact, anybody who's serious about privacy and digital security will talk to you about multiple browsers, multiple email clients, even multiple VPNs, which is something I do for different machines. So this one is running Proton VPN. This one is running private internet access. Uh, another machine over here, uh, Molvad. There's, there's so many different good ones that you could run. And then there's other ones that unfortunately don't have that level of quality, but you've got to figure out what VPN works the best for you and what operating system. The amazing thing in this in this climate we currently have online is they're, they're becoming more and more options and there's more and more effort put behind some of these resources, which personally I love. And so if you're trying to have privacy and anonymity, I wouldn't say it's becoming easier. You've got to put in a lot of legwork. It's very easy to have no privacy and anonymity in the name of safety and security, but there are more and more options on a daily basis people working on open source projects and other projects to help people interested in privacy and security. And I feel like we're kind of turning, the, the tides are starting to turn now with everything that's happened. Things have been so politicized the last couple of years with uh, a host of, of events, especially here in the United States, where people are starting to look at privacy, security. They're starting to look at, you know, big tech and they're starting to look at other options. I've seen a lot of people incrementally make small changes, even if it's just going from, you know, Chrome to Firefox, even if it's just going from Google to DuckDuckGo, even these tiny little changes are starting to compound. And even though that's not going to make you a ghost on the internet, it's going to help start to drive in that direction. And it's forcing big tech to actually pretend to care. And I know that's pretty much all they're doing is pretend to care, but at least they're pretending to care about privacy because they know they have to. We've seen companies like Apple and other companies come out and say, yeah, we've got to take more privacy measures because they know that if they don't, they'll start to leak out some market share because people are actively looking for better options. People are sick and tired of these companies taking all your data from you and then turning around and using it against you and selling it and making billions of dollars off it. Meanwhile, you're stuck, you know, losing your identity. You're stuck, people hacking you, tracing everything you do, tracking you. It's, it's unfortunate. So anyway, I want to talk about that. I would recommend you check out VirtualBox and then, uh, you know, who next is a good option. If you don't want to go that extreme, a good, a good base model to get started would be Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a very popular OS and you know Linux that you can kind of get started with. It's probably got 60 plus percent of the downloads. And so 
it is just very user friendly and then from there you can see what works for you anyway if you haven't already make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe because we're putting out new videos here on privacy x every single day and i'll see you guys tomorrow